Praise the Lord. There is no God like Jehovah. Come on, just stand on your feet and just wave your hands in the air if you believe that there is no God like Jehovah. Praise God. Praise God. We are in the presence of the Lord. Praise God. And when you're in the presence of the Lord, expect anything. Praise God. It's time to receive a word from the Lord. Praise God. Just asking those who are seated at this moment. As long as you can stand, I'm just asking you, please do so. It's a custom to stand when the word is about to be proclaimed. Put your hands together at this moment. As we receive the word from our general overseer, in no other person than Bishop Winston Royal Baker, care of the Holy Ghost, receive him with the word in Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Come on, go open your mouth and give the Lord some praise. Come on, open your mouth and give the Lord some praise. Come on, keep the worship going. Come on, open your mouth. Come on, saints. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Come on, it's the word is gonna be received tonight. There's miracle in the word. There's healing, deliverance in the word in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody keep those hands clapping. Come on, warriors, you can do better than that. Open your mouth and shout a good praise tonight. Come on, he's worthy to be praised. Somebody wave those hands and magnify. Come on, wave your hands and glorify the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. Somebody clap your hands and celebrate the Lord. Jesus Christ, for his good, his mercies endure it forever. Come on, somebody, reach to your neighbor and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, glad to see you tonight. You're at the right place, at the right time, for your miracle. Come on, somebody, give God a good praise in here. Come on, somebody, clap your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Come on, somebody, clap your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. A hallelujah to God. While you remain standing, please turn your Bibles with me to Acts chapter 16. Glory to God. Acts chapter 16. Let's read verse 9. And then we go to verse 15. God is a good God. There is none like him. He's Lord. He's Master. He's God. He is our Savior. He is our salvation. Jesus Christ is our only help. He's the one that holds the keys of death and hell. And when he opens a door, can no man shut. 
when he shuts a door can no man open it doesn't matter how high a person's go it doesn't matter how wide a person believe they are without jesus christ they are nothing hallelujah without the lord jesus christ in your life you are bound for a devil's hell so tonight we give him praise honor and glory because he is our source glory to god when you're at acts chapter 16 please say amen, amen. verse 9 Verse 9. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. There stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. Come over into Macedonia and help us. Glory to God. Let's go to verse 15 now, please. And when, and when she was baptized and her household, she besought us, saying, If ye have judged me to be a faithful, judge me to be faithful, to the Lord come into my house and abide there and she constrained us verse 16 and it came to pass as we went to prayer a certain young girl a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us which brought her master a lot much gain by suit saying verse 17 and we can close there the same followed Paul and us and cried saying these men are servants of the most high God which show unto us the way of salvation. Hallelujah. Let us talk to our daddy, please. Eternal God and our Savior, our Master, our King, our God. Here we are tonight in your house. We are here because we are led by your Spirit. No man can come to you except the Spirit of God draw them. It is your divine Spirit that pull us together tonight. You have your divine reason. Please, Holy Spirit, speak to us tonight. Trust me with your anointing one more time. Somebody's here because they need a word from you. Somebody need a touch. Somebody need deliverance. Please, Holy Spirit, show yourself to be strong and mighty among your people. Give victory tonight, Holy Spirit. We look to you. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth, and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Clap your hands and praise God in here. Come on, tell two people in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in the name of Jesus. You may be seated in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. God is a good God. He is a victorious God. He is the winner Jesus rose from the grave and he rose triumphant Jesus Christ of Nazareth he is the Alpha and the Omega he is the beginning 
and he is the end. He is the author starts and he is the finisher of our faith. In other words, we are walking by faith because Jesus Christ enters our life. Hallelujah. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Nobody can be saved by themselves. It takes the spirit of God to give man salvation. And it takes place because God is working in your life. Yes, it's by his word. When the word of God is declared, it enters your spirit. And the spirit of God begins to move in your life and allows you to believe. No man can believe on their own. It takes the spirit of God to enter into you and give you faith to believe and when you believe it's by faith you go to the water and when you go to the water God meets you at the water and is at the water he take away your past sins every sin you ever commit when you go to water baptism, God meets you there and he takes away every sin. The water is a burial. You're buried with him in baptism and you rise to walk in newness of life. It is by faith in God you enters into water baptism, a covenant. And it's by faith in God. God remove all your sins. He do it at water baptism. Now, water baptism have its shadowings in the Old Testament. Because in the Old Testament, everything to do with salvation have its part in water. We see even in the Genesis when God was about to bring life into the earth. The first thing God did is open his mouth and speak by faith. God said, let there be light. I told you on Tuesday night that when God said, let there be light, he was not calling the moon star, sun, the sun, moon, stars into being. Because in Genesis 1, we realize it's on day 4. God created the sun and the moon and the stars. So when God said, let there be light, God was speaking the truth in the earth realm. Because the truth is that the Bible said darkness was upon the face of the deep. I told you that light means the truth. Revelation, illumination. And darkness is absent of the truth. So in Genesis... When God said, let there be light, and there was light, it is uh, at that time the truth was not present. And God speak the truth into the earth realm. All right, and the Bible said that you can find that in John 1, verse 1 to 10. The Bible said that, and John was sent to be a witness of that light. He was not the light. He was sent to be a witness of the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. He said, I am the light of the world. Then he said that the light shineth 
into darkness. And guess what happened there? The darkness could not put the light out because two different levels now. Two, two different levels. We're talking about two. Two not, not, it cannot be compared. The darkness could not comprehend the light because, because the greater the darkness is the lighter the light. All right, let's take my time right there because I don't want you to miss this, please. And so here we see now that the first thing God did is speak by faith. Oh, touch your neighbor and tell them without faith, it is impossible to please God. Oh, Jesus, is there anybody in here need some faith? Throw your head back, man, and say, Lord, please increase my faith. Lord, please give me some faith. Shia, I hope nobody's in here. I hope nobody's in here with an absent mind now. You know? I hope nobody's in here, no demon, a black from listening to preach. You know? I hope nobody, somebody said, plead the blood and said, Mind, demon, go. Every mind attack will drive you out here. Every demon that don't want you to hear what God has to say to you, out in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's start now. Yes, we deal with that demon. Somebody, somebody have a demon and fight their mind, confuse their mind. And the Holy Ghost just pick up that. So let's go back to the text now. And so God said, let fear be light. And when I said darkness, I'm not talking about blackness. When I say darkness, I'm speaking absent of the truth. When you're walking in darkness, it simply means Satan and in demons, they have you in ignorance. It simply means that you are shut off from the truth. But when God said, let there be light, darkness, now ignorance start to roll back. And light sprung in can i go to the next level now please and the next thing the bible said after darkness rolled back and light is coming in he speak to the waters now because after god said let there be light and there was light darkness was there and the bible said god now begin to speak he begin to separate the water from the dry land. Let's look what took place in Genesis, please. Let's look what took place in Genesis. Slap your neighbor said, that's why we baptize. It's a must, baby. You must be baptized. Why? Because let's look what now. When darkness was there and God removed that, water was up on the face of the deep. God called the dry land. Oh, Out of the dry land. Uh, so he called the dry land out of the water. So the earth was burnt. Let us take our time, please. So every time you go to the water, and by faith, you lift your right hand. What God is doing right there, he's taking you back to creation. Because the first Adam messed up creation. And the last Adam come to create man, if any man be. He's a new creation, baby. And that is done through born again process. It is done be born of the water and of the spirit. You got to be baptized in water. I preached a message some years ago that God loves water. I wonder if anybody believes that God loves water. God play with water. In Genesis, when God is going to start everything, God just 
brought water into and if you don't believe me let's walk a little bit more please because when man messed up everything the antediluvian world and the bible said god was grieved with man god said come here he all for water. Water begin to come out of the deep. Mm -hmm. The clouds begin to burst. My God, water everywhere. God used water as a destruction to the people that hate him. But the same water what that was destruction to the haters was the salvation to those who so God used water to save the godly from the ungodly world. Oh, Shia, my God. You better slap your neighbor and say you can't find that in First Peter chapter 3. All right, let us walk a little bit, please. And so now water. Touch somebody, tell them water. Everything God do in the Old Testament to take away sin, he used water. He tell Moses, kill the goat, use the blood, and get his up branch and get me some water and sprinkle the blood on the water touch your neighbor said that was a shadow of that which is to come because when the spear got through Jesus side the same blood and water will come out to bring salvation to the earth can I go in please this is not in my text but I promise God already when I come behind his holy desk and it will he lead me I will follow I'm not a sermon preacher I am a messenger anytime I come I come with a telegram I come with a letter I come to drop off a letter my tongue is like the pen of a ready writer the bible is downloading my spirit and when I come behind the stairs Oh, Shia, I don't search for words. My God, where is the warriors kind of tight? A little bit too flat. All right, now we are on water a little bit. Can I talk about water a little bit? And so here we see God use water for sprinkling uh, with the blood. Because it's the blood of Jesus Christ that's going to redeem mankind. And the water from his side that's going to sanctify the church. Are you coming with me warriors and so now God use water to destroy the ungodly and to save the godly then we look we look we look how God just love play with water Jesse, 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 can I run with Jesse a little bit? Jesse come on the scene, high priestess for Baal. And Jesse don't like the anointed ones. Jesse don't like, when I say Jesse, I mean Jezebel, yes. Jesse don't like those who are called to be a prophet. And so Jesse now begin to use Ahab as a little puppet. Mm -hmm. Is there any hussy in your husbands? Don't let your wife have you as a puppet. You are the head of the house. All right, sit tight. Let's talk because some people don't like that one, that piece. So let me run again now. And so Jesse run the house. And Jesse run things. And Jesse decide she wants to kill all the prophets. And she kill prophets. Prophets running for their lives. Hiding in dens and in caves and catacombs. And prophets are hiding but there was one prophet by the name of Elijah and Elijah says bring me all the false prophets in Germany. no 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 in Israel are you coming with me and he said call the 400 of your man men and the 400 and 150 fall priests bring them to Mount Carmel and let us see which God is the real God he said the God that answers 
by fire. Can I go in, please? Slap the neighbor, say neighbor. The Old Testament is the New Testament is in the Old Testament. Oh, Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. The, the New Testament is in the Old Testament, but it is hidden. Come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor, Jesus is in the Old Testament. Just as how he's in the New Testament. But in the Old Testament, Jesus is hidden. In the New Testament, he's revealed. In the Old Testament, Jesus is a shadow. But in the New Testament, he's a substance. In the Old Testament, Jesus is concealed. But in the New Testament, Jesus is revealed. In the Old Testament, Mm. Where are the warriors in here? Slap your neighbor, say, let's have some church tonight. Somebody need the revelation. And so now we realize that Elijah now called the sorcerers, called the soothsayers, called the necromancers, called the witchcraft workers, and said, Let's build our altar. I'm gonna build the altar of Jehovah, and you build your altar of Baal, and the altar that answers. That's the real altar. You're coming with me now. It blows my mind. For when he decided to rebuild the altar of Jehovah, we got 12 stones. And we used to think that the 12 stones represent the 12 tribe of Israel. But little did they know that the 12 tribe of Israel is just a shadow of the 12 apostles. You're coming with me and he used 12 stones and little did they know that the stone that the builder rejects will be the head I feel like I'm preach tonight and I feel preaching in my big toe. Where is the warrior? Show your head back, open your mouth and say rebuild the altar. And when you're building the altar, make sure you build it with the foundation. For no other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid. Jesus Christ he is the chief cornerstone. I hear the songwriter say, upon Christ the solid rock I stand all of the ground is sinking sun when peace like a river attending my way when sorrows like sea pillars roll whatever my lot the was taught me to say it is what take two minutes let us talk. Come on, neighbor. Now you got to understand this. If your altar is not built upon the foundation, you are considered as a witchcraft worker. If your altar don't have 12 stones, you are a obia woman or man. If your altar does not have the rock, then something is wrong with your altar. Your altar must be built upon the doctrines of the apostles. Come on, warriors. Who am I talking to? Ask your neighbor, do you have an altar? What did they say? You have altars moving against you. You have altars fighting you. You have altars active against you. You have evil altars that don't want you to come to nothing in life. But when you have the altar of Jehovah, no dopey can squeeze your throat. No witch can kill you. Who am I talking to? Somebody throw your head back. Open your mouth. Shout one place. Hear me now. And now the Elijah. Which is Elia. And Elia means 
God is Jehovah is God. That's what his name represents. El and Yah. Mm -hmm. All right, next week. And so now he call. He call for the false prophet to raise up your altar. Now he's raising up the altar of Jehovah. He get 12 stones. And after the man did that, the man dig a trench. Shire. Can I find 10 Christian in here? Come on, tell the neighbor, you got to dig your trench. Your altar must have trench. Who am I talking to? Somebody tell the neighbor, your altar must have trench. You must have some depths, man. Your altar must have some fasting. You can't start your Christian life and you never fast yet. You can't say you're a Christian and you never go down in a real fasting. Who am I talking to? Somebody throw your head back out me your mouth and say dig the trench go down in some fasting man every real christian fast you love your gut too much all right belly too much where is the worshipers in here it's kind of a little bit flat man come on touch your neighbor abstinence come on man shut off everything man shut off the tv shut off the phone shut off all the different sites no youtube no facebook when i fasting shut away from the world and let your affection be on things above turn off everything of this earth and tune into kingdom Oh, Shia, build your trench. That's real Christianity. Tell somebody, build your trench. Holy Ghost, I tell every fast and you make your belly become your God. You are fast and big to hurt you. And you break fasting. You are fast and head hurt you. And you break fasting. You are fast and belly hurt you. And you break fasting. You are fast and stomach won't vomit. And you break fasting. Slap your neighbor. Say, don't make your stomach be your God. No, make your head be your God. No, make your belly be your God. No, make your big long poor. All right, next week we'll get that. Where is the worshippers? But when a fasting time and head start hurt, speak to head and say, Head, a fasting no. Whether me dead, yes, I know me now I'm bread. That if me tell God three o'clock, if me tell God six o'clock, if me tell God nine o'clock, me now I'm break it. Warriors, where are you dig a trench, the man? Bring a trench, build a trench, the man. You can't go round it. Slap your neighbor. Say the altar is already built. You can't come, come cut it. Nah, trim it. You're not get powerful overnight. If you want power, you have to ball and fast and see God. Oh, Shia, where is the worshippers in here? If you want power, you have to suffer with him in order to reign with him. Can't go around it. Oh, Shia. I know some of you jump up this week. Baptized last week. And this week you call yourself apostle. Oh, Shia. Baptized last week. And this week you call yourself prophet. I must be one where you get a shop. Where is the worship? A apostle fool. Uh -huh. Touch your neighbor, say, don't green out this thing. The foundation must be laid. And an overnight thing. I know you're living in one get rich quick society. So you come to church this week and next week, a wife, you look at husband. Don't look at me like that. But God said not cut it, not trim it. We come to God this week. Come on now. That simple means a fast and a seeking and prayer. Seek ye first. You can't go on it. They that wait. 
say you can't go and take shortcut. Mm. Where is the warriors in here? It's kind of flat. Too tight. Hold on. Everybody in this church must get one of these books. Everybody in this church. And the people who are here at Church of Bishop, buy them one eye book. Because them believes your bishop an overnight preacher. Them see your bishop a drive car and a build house and a chat him. But then I know the years where your bishop a ride bicycle and a sell ice cream cake and fudge. Them see your bishop a drive car. And then I know the years where your bishop three o'clock at night do us. And one were dead with a heart attack. Birdman among them as a man in time. But when we, three o'clock, they come for me at the house. Then save the front seat for Bishop Baker. The reason why they save the front seat. Because for my small, I have a problem, traveling problem. I can't travel far. If I travel from here to Negril, I throw up. To Sablama, I throw up. But because me love God. Come on now. Me can't sit down in the back of the bus if I go vomit. Me talk to the driver. And ask him to save the front seat for me. So that I don't throw up. I did it for years now. What we are doing. What 18 years we're doing it now. So when you see me come. When you see me leave here every Wednesday night. And drive to Kingston. Preach Thursday night. Drive back to Negril. And have a mic in my hand Friday night. I'm mean, just do this. You know? You're just a see through Facebook. Or YouTube. But I me, me do it for over 17 years. Yes, sir. Where are the warriors in here, man? Where are the worshippers in here? May I preach? And God I use me to heal cancer. Yes. Drive out age out of people. May I preach. God I use me to cast out devil out of madman. Then tie up madman. Bring him come time up at the seat there. Hallelujah. And I preach. And by the time I don't preach and slap him. Yes. Lay me hand on him. That's what I mean. And the madman became sin. Walk to the water. And when me leave church, me leave from church to home to go see a paper summons on my veranda to go to court. For what? Nothing. Only because me I serve God. Court for where me know as home. And while me I preach, me if you go up 11 steps, Oh, Shia, where is the worshiper? It's kind of tight. You don't know the suffering of a true child of God. You don't know the pain that we, we bear. So you see the person, them when you hear a call, your bishop, Obiaman, write them, buy the book, and give it to them. Give them as a gift. Let them know the history. Where is the worshiper? Look up there. Yes, sir. So the book is finished. Oh. The title of the book is From the Guttermost to the Uttermost. Let's look back on the book, man. How we reach there? We're not reached there so yet, brother Nico. Yeah, move a little bit too fast, man. Now, so let's look again. Let's look again. I always look about that. That's Bishop Brother Man, the boy. Reading, 
with him boom in our hand. I sweep up yard. Where is the worshippers in here? From the gutter to the utmost. Come on, somebody. How many know God can take you from nothing to something? From being whipped by devils, being bound by spirits, to become a deliverer. One who God used to whip unclean spirits. Up your mouth and give God a praise from the God of us. Somebody clap your hands and praise in the name of the Lord. So get ready for the launch of the new book. Somebody clap your hands and praise God. And the wing chuck. The wing chuck. Somebody said the wing chuck. That we are going to use for the services on the street. Your time now, Brother Nix. Where are you? That's it. Look. Come on, man. Come on, warriors. Come on, warriors. So, we are halfway. We paid down six million on the truck. Somebody give God a praise, no man. Somebody give God a praise, no man. Somebody give God a praise, no man. You ready, preacher? Give God a praise, no man. We are. So, we need 6.5 million to finish. It looks impossible at the beginning. Now we are halfway. Oh, Jesus, where is the worshiper that can say faith? Faith! Just a little bit of faith. Somebody throw your head back, man. It's kind of too tight. So, whatever God put in your heart towards the truck. Plant the seed because everywhere that truck goes, everyone that is saved, you will be a benefit. God shall bless you because you sow into the kingdom of God. It's a vision that God gave me. God said to me, son, this country is locked up by the demon of witchcraft. The demon of violence and murder. These three demons. Just, I think it was about Monday. Between Saturday to Monday. I was told that some murder took place. And because of that murder, a 17-year-old boy and a 19-year-old boy was sent to kill a lady. Just right down the road down there. Just right down by Little London there. And the 17-year-old boy got to, the, to a lady and asked her, what is your name? Shayabasa. And like the lady said, her name is Lottie. So the lady's name is Lottie. And he's looking for Letty. And when the lady said Lottie, he took the gun and blew the lady's head because the name sound alike. I stop by to tell somebody that if Letty or Lottie did ever in Christ walking in the spirit that little 17 year old boy could not take out her life before time God said up 
God said they can't kill you before your time. If you are in the will of God. When that boy is on his way to Lati. Who are the ghosts that find that boy? Before that boy reach Lati. Who are the ghosts that reach him? I stop by to tell somebody in here that there is a word in Matthew 24. God said, I will shorten the murderer's days because their heart is wax cool. Their love is wax cool and their heart is evil and tough. But I stop by to tell you, no evil heart boy, no evil heart girl, no wax cool love can kill and elect before their time. For God said, I will shorten their days for the elect. Seek. You better reach your neighbor and say, neighbor, when you are one of God elect, God watch over you. No care crash, no heart attack, no gunman, knife man, rapist can't kill you before your time. No untimely death. God said, I will kill a thousand for your sake. You better hold on to your neighbor, say, neighbor, you shall not. Die before your time. I come here with a rainbow road for somebody. A thousand shall fall at your side. Somebody start prophesying a man. Start prophesying a man. Yes, as you touch my foot, a thousand shall fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but no dopey, no wicked, no untimely death, no vampire. Now suck out your blood. Who am I talking? I said, no blood sucking demons. Now take your life out of you. You better screw your head back. Declare it in this house. No weapon. No witch. No warlock. This guy now flat man. Too tight. Too tight. Somebody throw your head back. Open your mouth wide. Be clear it over your life. There's a demon lurking around Westmoreland. There's a demon lurking around Hanover, lurking around St. James, and it's an untimely dead demon. It's a violent demon. It's a murder demon. So guess what? The hitman is sent for him. But the demon won't get out him. So all the demon does is when you when the gunman reach on the spot, him blindfold the gunman and let the gunman get chica happy and kill somebody that was not meant to be killed. But reach your neighbor said tonight, I speak over your life. Comprehensive blood coverage over you. Come on somebody. No bike accident. No car accident. No mishap. Oh shit. I feel the power of God in my belly. Somebody throw your head back and start speaking now. Start speaking now. Open your mouth and start speaking over your life. Comprehensive. Comprehensive. Blood coverage. Over you. Start cover your children now. Start cover your loved ones. Start cover your friends. Come on somebody. Open your mouth and shout again. Shout one more praise again. Shout one more glory. Shout one more thank you Jesus. Up your mouth and release it, man. Up your mouth and release it. Up your mouth and release it. Release it. Release it. Release it. Release it. Release it. I know most. I know most of the members understand this, but for those who don't understand, remember the Bible said they throw their money at the apostles' feet. So please, when you come, don't touch up here. Touch down there. 
Come on, touch your neighbor. Say, touch the foot. Let the, the anointing and the prophet's foot trample and break everything. Somebody throw your head back, man. It's kind of tight. Let's get back in the scripture. Open your mouth as a comprehensive blood coverage over you. The demon that is going around in this region, that murder demon, I hide you from it. I hide you from it. I hide you from it. I hide you. Somebody say, hide somebody. I hide you from it. Somebody say, plead the blood, no man. No mistake. No misidentity. Plead the blood. Drive him a far country. There's a word over my life. There's a word over my life. He shall give his angels charge concerning me to bear me up. Mm, it's kind of tight. It's kind of tight. Up me a mouth and shout again. Up me a mouth and shout again. Show your head back. You that dwell it in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Somebody release it over your life. Somebody release it over your own life. You that dwell it in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty somebody get radical open your mouth and speak over your own life i shall say of the lord he is my refuge god is my fortress may put me trust in a jesus somebody up your mouth my trust and confidence in a vile and wicked and evil time my confidence is in jesus some trust in chariots some trust in horses my god where is the warriors in here some put their trust in egyptians some put their trust in princes but I shall remember. Somebody up your mouth. Get radical. A shift is taking place. A shift is taking place. We don't fear it. We don't fear it. Fear is the substance of things so far. The evidence of things that seen. Up your mouth and declare it. Up your mouth and declare it. Up your mouth and declare it. Surely who shall deliver me? Up me mouth, warriors and prophesy. Up me mouth and prophesy. Surely you shall deliver me from the sneer of the fowler and from the nice and pestilence. Somebody hold on to two people right now. Shake the hand like you want to shake it off. Give them eye contact. Take the smile off your face. The devil want to kill somebody. The devil want to cut somebody their shot. I said the devil want to kill her before your time. I said the devil want to kill her before your time. The devil want to kill her before your time. But tonight I reverse death. I reverse death. Squeeze that hand and prophesy. Surely he shall deliver thee. Come on, he shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shall you trust. His truth, his truth, his truth shall be your shield, your buckler. Shake the hand, let them feel you. I said, shake the hand, let them feel you. No demon, I use nobody. I said, no unclean spirit. Now make you die by misidentity. Cover. You are covered. You are covered. You are covered. Thou shall not be afraid. Shake that hand right now. Shake in faith. Shake in faith. Thou shall not be afraid. For the terror by night. Nor for the arrow. That fled by day. Nor for the pestilent. That walketh in darkness. Nor the destruction that wastes it at noonday. Come on, warriors, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Declare it over the person you're holding on to. 
you shall not die before your time you shall live out all your days I declare it over you 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 a thousand shall fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand but it shall not come nigh you only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked the harder they come is the harder they fall somebody prophesy 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 over your neighbor and tell them there shall no evil befall thee neither shall no plague come nigh thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge concerning thee to cover thee to keep you in all your ways they shall bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against the stone somebody get radical somebody get radical somebody get radical walk in this promise it's a promise for believers it's a promise for the believers it's a promise for the believers somebody walk in god's secret place walk in god's secret place walk under his wings shanda yamasaya yapapapasa shanda basaya manda kura basinda babasi winda bakushaya randa basi my god my 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 walk away from them man walk away by the time the enemy reach you God fix the situation already walk stop right where you are Right here you are, stop. Last night I was in Kingston. And in the midst of preaching, I got a flashback. And it just came to my spirit a while ago, and I'm going to declare it over this house. Last night, while I was preaching, I remember an incident that took place years ago. I was at Royal Medical Hospital. And five young men was passing they were walking through the hospital to go to inting plaza Sablamar. and when the boys was passing i felt the anointing and when i look i see a dark cloud hanging over one of them head and when i saw it i was speaking in tongues and the lord said Son, that's the demon of death. He's going to die. And I shout out to the boys. Point on the one that I said and said, I just see a dark cloud over you. You're going to die. And when I said that, they walked down a little bit and then they stopped. And he walked to me. Oh, shy of us. He walked to me and he said to me brother Baker a five hour we are walk and oh you come look for me and tell me say you see demon are death over me and a five hour we are walk what kind of thing that you are going with brethren and he talk and he walk he walked from royal medical 
true inting and reach at Hendon. When you reach at Hendon, a boy that seemed like they have some conflict before took out a knife, walk over to him and stab him. He fell to the ground. He died on the spot. When his friend saw it, one of them, I think his name is Chris, he ran off from the spot. Ran right back to Royal Medical at the security office. I said, Brother Baker, Brother Baker. And he called the name of the boy and say, Then just stab him and he's dead. Not even 10 minutes. Shia Basa. What are you saying, Bishop? In the realm of the spirit, whenever the devil wants to kill somebody, he first assign a spirit. The spirit of death have to come. But how many know that when you are anointed by God, you can open your mouth and reverse every untimely death. Somebody right where you are, I want you to take authority over untimely death. Declare, I shall not die, but I shall live out all my days in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody start pleading blood over your life. Blood coverage right now. When I see the blood, come on, somebody. When death see the blood, death have to leap over you. Warriors, where are you? Comprehensive. Somebody start cover the person beside you now. Comprehensive. Blood coverage. I cover you from untimely death. No car crash. No heart attack. No high blood pressure. No diabetes. No cancer, no heart failure, no kidney failure. I speak over your life right now. I speak over your life right now. You shall not die before your time. I reverse death from off you. You shall declare the works of God in the land of the living. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth, and begin to praise God. The dead can't praise God. Now they that go down in silence. Come on. Let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. Somebody start another praise in here. Somebody walk again. Start trample now. I said trample it under your feet. Trample it under your feet. Trample Trample the dragon. Trample the other. Trample the beer. The boy was 17 years old. And the boy killed a 39 year old woman. But in less than an hour, the boy is dead. You know why I'm dead? Shanda Messiah. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Babasa. Because the dead demon wasn't satisfied. So the dead demon turned on the boy. You better drive back death in this house. You know? Reverse death. You know? Drive it out of your family. Drive it out of your house. Shanda Basa. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa. I feel a move. I feel a shift. I feel a move. Somebody up your mouth. Up your mouth. They have no terror over the blood bought ones. Somebody start a war now. I said, somebody start a war. War for your children now. War for your sons and your daughters. Start a war. 
plead the blood. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. What kind of church is this? Get in the Holy Ghost, man. The battle is first one in the Holy Ghost. Somebody get in the Holy Ghost and start pleading the blood over somebody. The demon is all over. The demon of death. The murder demon. The blood curse demon. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Walk up on him. Trample him on the feet. Yeah, Messiah. Start cover somebody in the community you now. Somebody will hold the ghost, show you. Somebody will see at the gas station. Somebody that you see at the supermarket. Somebody will hold the ghost, show you. Start cover them right now. Start cover, start cover one scammer. Start cover one gunman. Start cover one hitman. And tell them God want to use you. God want to change you. And the demon want to kill you. But I stand in the gap fire tonight. I stand in the gap fire tonight. You shall not die. You shall live. And declare the works of God. Clap your hands and celebrate the king. Clap your hands and magnify the Lord of Lords. Celebrate the King of Kings. No untimely death. If there's somebody in here, listen to me now. If there's somebody in here. I talked to you already. I tell us that God said no touch no bike. And you're still a ride bike. And tonight, this is something that is about to happen with you and the bike. Last warning. God said, walk with me. And you got to talk to. God send the man I got to you. And tell you to stop ride bike. You know, say, dead, you go dead. Walk away from the bike. Go for that little one there. Remember him? Come here. Wipe your head with my rag. You remember him? You remember me warn him? I remember me rubbing his head with oil and beg people to pray for him. In this way, I end up in a hospital nearly stiff to one mad, you know? Somebody hide him again. Somebody hide him under the blood of Jesus Christ. Speak over his life right now. Shia Basa. Yama Shia. Where are the worshippers? Help him, man. Help him, worshippers. Help him. Help him, worshippers. Help him. Shire. Blood coverage. Comprehensive blood coverage. Shire. Where is the worshippers? Say something, man. It's flat. Up your mouth and start plead the blood. Up your mouth and start plead the blood. Shire. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. See? There's a problem with some Christians. Anytime God open one door, them after a while, them forget who opened the door. And I do them own thing. Let me explain. They come to the preacher and say, I want to know if this is God's will for my life. And the preacher pray for them and send them. And when they get through and they start work overseas 
and the little grass that look green. Them forgot where them promised God. I know them are look ways of his tear firing. God says, son, when you go, you warn them, you know. God says, son, when you go, warn them. Because when them, where them think of green grass. I rather have nothing and live in the will of God than have everything out of the will of God. The Lord showed me this long time, you know. The Lord showed me that some of them, anytime you see them touch foreign, God will done for them. Once you see them go to one side, no, no, once. Once they go to two or three times, them I'm find ways. So them now go up for and go do God's work. Them go up for and go find how they can go go steer. Shaya Basa. Don't look at me like that. Go find a Baptist preacher. You can't get one Baptist preacher that will preach what you want. But when you come to apostolic church, apostolic preacher, I go preach what God said for telling you. Shaya Basa. Now, God said, go to foreign. Work a little bit. And when that contract up, come in your yard. Take care of your daughter. No make no devil in hell. Shia, where is the worshippers in here? Yes! Somebody up your mouth and praise God Almighty. Up your mouth and shabba. Up your mouth and yada. Sister Tracy, you make sure you don't come and have a phone with your husband. They pay your husband with your phone. They pay your phone with your husband all the time. And make sure you say, Hosey! Not talk about no extension. Come in your yard. And then after you come in your yard and me alright, then you can kick both foreign again. Warriors, where are you? Because sometimes when you see them and make some move, Sometimes you see them and make some move and go for him. I really want next husband, I want next wife. They want it. You know? Somebody said, bleed the blood and say, fire the man. Up your mouth and shut that devil. Shoot him down. Where is the warrior? Say something, man. Up your mouth. They're not like them preaching. You know? Come on, but marriage is honorable in all. Somebody up your mouth. When you make your decision, make it for your wife and your husband. Why? I'm glad you know nobody me a chat. So I preach this, my conscience free. I just a move as I led. My tongue is the, is the what? My tongue are the pen, baby. You know what I just say? My tongue are the pen. So nobody vex with the pen. If you want to get vex, vex with the one have a pen in your hand. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Where is the warriors in here? So, son, that's why I'm going to rub your head. When your wife talks, I'm going to ask him. Because I don't want your wife to have foreign. And you there. And fit up, fill up. If your wife has got foreign, where is the warriors in here, man? Somebody vex again. Really just spirit them in on time. You have some people now where they're reaching a God now, you know. You have some people then cockatier. Where they're reaching a God now, you know, man. Every time maybe she'll preach them contradict. <laughs> so when Bishop preach, they have round table talk. They eat Bishop for breakfast. They eat Bishop and they have their own translator, you know, man. 
So when Bishop preach, they, they can contradict and then bring out scripture and then this. Go sit down and go learn God. If you learn, number one, if you have God a walk in your spirit, when Bishop preach, you're humble for yourself. Son, I'm going to get one day. Well, I want more. Speed me put upon that. A speed me put upon that. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Where is the warriors in here? Plead the blood. Wife. Wives. Wives. Start sending blood in the direction of your husband. Husbands. Start shooting blood. Warriors, where are you? You don't know where I'm going. Maybe see. But you don't know. So make your bishop start plead the blood and say fire. Leave the man wife alone. Warriors, where are you, man? Leave the host, leave the woman, husband alone. Come on, no man, start plead the blood, no man. Where is the warriors in here, man? Where is the warriors in here, man? Start plead the blood and say fire. We don't want no adultery in here. Someone say plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. How can you? Take fire in your bosom and not be burned. Shaya Basa. Where is the warriors in here? Where is the warriors in here? Somebody say, plead the blood, no man. And every married person in here, where? Your ring. My God, where is the worshippers in here, man? You have a new elder? Pastor, let me look and say, let me see. Yes, sir. Let me look over here. Where? Your ring. Shaya. Shanda basa. And. And. Husband, you might have to buy an next one for your wife. Because sometimes my wife wants another one. Give him something. This time, give him something broad. Where is the warriors in here? Up your mouth, no man. Up your mouth and say something. Give her some broad. So that, so that when your dragon seed conscience knock him down. Where is the warriors in here? Plead the blood and say fire. Now, if there's a sister in here and you can sleep with a sister husband, write it down, God. Except he tell you, say, he's not holding your guiltless. You hear? Whatever you saw. Shaya Basa. Wives and husbands, listen to the instruction of your leader. Any brother, you hear me, preacher? Any brother. You see, I call your wife phone in the hours of the night. Come to your bishop, come tell him. If he's active, dumb! You're not supposed to depend on phone with the man wife or with the woman husband. How much o'clock like a night? I think a puck of this. Where is the warriors in here, man? Where is the warriors in here? Where is the warriors in here? Stop plead the blood, the man. So I plead the blood. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are wicked. What you don't like for yourself. Bow your fall. You think God has got to say your fall and God has to say your fall. That I don't know fall. You can't fool people. But you can't fool God. You fall with your woman, husband. Fall. You mean? You call that fall? Fall when somebody slip and drop. You fall by. Depp on the phone with the man, wife. For 45 minutes, you call that fall. You mean plan for me to a certain place, you call that fall.
You call that fall? Where you and I there that the place that be how long? Shia Basa, where is the worship of? That I don't know fall. You know what that name? Huh? You call that fall? You want to hear what that name? Them have one place down a Negro along this. Where better Eastern always go? Where they call it? Down a Rick's Cafe. You know Rick's Cafe? They have one place where they go, sir. That's a fall. That's a dive. That's a choke off. You call that dive synchronized diving. And Holy Ghost, I go get a synchronized whip in. Ride that down. Oh, shia. Somebody say, plead the blood. Somebody, I get nervous. You, know, you feel it. You feel it in the atmosphere. Somebody say, plead the blood now. Repent fast. Somebody say, plead the blood now. Repent fast. Delete and block him now. Last warning. He that have a ear to hear, let him hear. Me say delete and black now. And if you, if I'm a man of God, don't delete and black before you left church and watch God. I feel him in my hands. I feel the Holy Ghost in my hands. I feel the brick in my hand. I feel God is about to hit somebody hard. I feel God is about to use somebody as an example. I feel God is about to overthrow something. Somebody said, echo blood on fire. Not here. Not in the Holy Ghost Church. Go on down a poker. A poker business that go on down there. Where is your worshippers? Plead the blood now, man. Plead the blood now. Start echo the blood of Jesus over here. Shia, wave your hands in the atmosphere. Wave your hands. Be he holy. For God is holy. Shia Basa. It's not that Christians don't make mistakes, you know. It's not that Christians don't make mistakes. But Christian carry a living conscience. Where is the wires in here? Shia Basa. That wants to please God. Where are those who want God to be pleased? If you want God to be pleased with your life, two hands in the air. Mm, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service who am I talking to God is calling somebody to present their mouth present your tongue present your hands present your feet present your belly present your eyes watch your eyes watch your eyes what they see but there's a father up above looking down in tender love. Watch your eyes. It's, it's a little school song. It's a basic school song. But it is serious and dangerous. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. What they do. For there's a father up above looking down in tender love. Watch your Come on, I need some Christian that want to please God, that want the fire to remain in your life. Come on, warriors, watch your feet, watch your feet, where they go. Come on, somebody, up your mouth and put some fire up your mouth and say, Holy Ghost, fire. watch your mouth, watch your mouth, what they say. As a Christian, you can't say everything. As a Christian, you can't think everything. 
As a Christian, you got to watch your mind and the thoughts that are coming in your mind. And you got to purify your mind. Shia Basa, who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Jesus was preaching like this. And while Jesus was preaching like this, the Pharisees was pointing finger at Jesus. Anytime Bishop preach, you have some Pharisees that always never see themselves. Shia, when the Holy Ghost want to find something to take them to a new dimension because they are struggling and God want to give them a shift. Anytime God want to do something in your life, he first speak to you. Anytime God want to take you up, he first say something. And it depends on how you take what he say. That's what determines the blessing of God in your life. He that have an ear to hear. Let him hear what the spirit of God is saying to you. Shy your hands in the air. I'm about to close tonight. Hands in the air. I'm about to close. Hands in the air. Shy basa. Hands in the air. Come on, somebody. God want to do a thing in my life. God want to make a move in my life. God want to. Come on, somebody. Open your mouth. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody say, have your way, Holy Ghost. Spirit of the living God, speak to me. Spirit of the living God, move in my life. Never let the fire go out. Shia. Yamasa. Shia Basa. Come on, somebody say something. Say something. Say something. Open your mouth. Shia Basa. I say, open your mouth and believe God tonight. Silver and gold have I none. Pick up picture. Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Drink and be healed by the power of God. Somebody help her with a praise right now. Come on, somebody help her with a praise right now. Somebody help her with a praise right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I command you to be completely healed now. Shia. Somebody help her. Somebody help her. Of me amount, there's a shift taking place in her life right now. I said there's a shift taking place in her health. Somebody say something. Somebody help me amount and shut back the king. Come on and yada him tonight. Yada him tonight. Yada him tonight. Hallelujah. Yada him tonight. Stretch your hands towards him now. It's not by might. It's not by power. It is by my spirit, says the Lord. Come on, warriors. It's kind of time. Hallelujah. Keep the praises going. Hallelujah. Keep the praises going. Hallelujah. Keep the praises going. Hallelujah. 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 Silver and gold. Have I none? Hallelujah. I want you to put your head back like this. Hallelujah. Silver and gold. Hallelujah. Have I none? Oh, but such as I have, oh, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak to your eyesight and I command you to come back. Up your eye, up your eyes, up your eyes, up your eyes. Somebody start helping him right now. Yes, hallelujah. Somebody start helping. Jesus. Fire. Somebody start helping right now. Start breathing the blood onto fire. So please the blood and the fire, fire, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Somebody start your fire, fire. 
Open your mouth and say fire, fire, fire. Fire, 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 fire. Shanda. Yamasa. Somebody help her. That's it, yes. Yes, somebody help her. Help her. Help her. Fire, fire. Fire. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody help me out. Yes, yes, yes. Show one more praise in here. Yes, 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 yes. Show me one more glory. 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 When you go overseas, never run off. Look in my eye. You listen, your bishop. You go overseas, never run off. If you do it, you're going to sorry. Shia. We are the warriors just kind of tight. Up your mouth and plead the blood and say fire. Up your mouth and say fire. Up your mouth and say fire. Where the ghost fire. When I talk, I release the word of God. You don't have to obey. But I can tell you this. Obedient is better than sacrifice. I can tell you this. If you disobey, it's going to be hard. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody start a praise in here. Somebody start a worship. Somebody start a glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two hands in the air. Two hands in the air. Two hands in the air. You get your word, sister? You get your word a while ago? Because you see, if you don't take your word, you're not get a visa. And if you get when you get a visa, you get a visa because you promise God to you now nah, run off. Where is the worshippers in here? Say something, man. Hallelujah. Say something, man. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say something, man. Hallelujah. Up me your mouth and give God a better praise oh, than that. Jesus. Shout a glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout a thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank Jesus. You, Jesus. you remember where God used me to say to you? And you know, say, yeah, go all over here, go preach. Run around the church. Glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Here is the warriors in here. Here is the worshipers in here. Somebody better help him. You better release a strong praise in here. Open your mouth and shout out the king. Glory, hallelujah. Yeah, the king. Glory. Hallelujah. I love when I speak like this. Before they see I preach and do nothing. They hear the word over your life. So when they, when you start manifesting glory, he hears. Where is the warriors in here, man? Hallelujah. Where is the warriors in here, man? Up your mouth and shab at the king. Hallelujah. You want something for right down? Right down this. The must, the must send for him. Send, come to bishop. If you go to England, go preach. Go to Canada, go preach. Hallelujah. Go to different churches in America, Hallelujah. go preach. Right down that. Right down that. Yes. Somebody open your mouth. Yes, Give God a little of praise in here. Yes, Shout. Yes. Hallelujah. Shout a strong praise. Hallelujah. Where's your wife, son? Where's your wife? Wife, come and hold on to your husband. Hallelujah. Hold on to your husband, wifey. Wifey, hold on to your husband. Oh, oh Lord. I mean, hug oh, up your Lord, husband. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Look on Bishop now. Now let him go. Hold on, pony foot. Grab on, pony waist. 
Remember, Bishop Baker did tell her that tonight. No, let him go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God do him. No, let him go. Oh, Where are the believers in here, man? Somebody give God another shout of praise in here. Shout another praise in here. Yes, see, Bishop Baker. Jesus. Bishop Baker. No get your privilege when nothing you get. I give God thanks and I abide in my calling. I thank God for that. But when I get the privilege, just like, come here, son. It's like how oh, you get the privilege today in a church. And I ball and I beg and I look and I say, God, give me a wife, please. And I say, God, is that my wife, Lord? And I call man of God and say, man of God, pray. I want to know if she's my wife. And I mean, I get the privilege there now. Where is the worshipers in here? Because that's where I come from. I come from out of the world and woman I come with me. Where is your worshipers, man? Hallelujah. I come out of me I come out of crew and hype. Dancing. Holy for attachment. Holy for girls that come. That's right, Gwela. So when me come, me end up come with one. Yeah, yeah, me preacher. So me come at church with girl. Yes, me no come at church, go look a wife. Me come at church with one. Yes, at church, me I come and she not left. Yes, That's right, yes, because me, me have a hype out there. Yes, so me as a hype man, she not let go the hype man. No. So she end up come at church with a hype man. Hallelujah. And when she come at church with a hype man, yes, a hype man lose a hype. Oh. Because hype no run church. There is a worship as man says something. Hey, I hold it. I hold it. Hate me now when me testify. I hold it upset because me testify. I hold it vexed because me testify. But you know, in my, you never know my shoes. You don't know my testimony. And if you know the pain, then you would have seen me at all. So it does, it's just a sign to show that you're not really with me. You only pretend. But well, if you're really with me, you know my pain and me tell my story. So, she come with me because of hype. And me lose me hype. So when me lose me hype, she gone left me because me not have no hype. Where is the warriors in here, man? Hallelujah. Where is the warriors in here? Let me Hallelujah. testify. Slap that demon. Drive him out. And she couldn't sit tonight. Because if she did sit tonight, she would have hold on the foot. Where is the worshippers in here, man? She couldn't sit tonight. Because if she sit tonight, she would have, she would have, she would have sit in the glory. Because all she could see are the suffering. Oh, Shia. And she run left. Oh, Shia. You better slap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, if you're not suffer with me, why should you reign with me? If you can't walk with me, when me I go through me valley, why you should I share the mountain top with me? Where is the warriors, man? It's kind of a little bit too tight. No leg like of your husband. Suck salt with your husband. No make foreign. This part of your but No make foreign separate you from the man where God gave you. You're an idiot. <laughs> May I have to testify? Me see. She come in a church with me and nothing now going for me. And firing, she get firing opportunity. And she walk where left me. And me live for see. They see him firing. Oh God Almighty, man. Them the one the preacher preaching, the man. Somebody vexed with the preacher, you know. But the preacher have to tell this story so that somebody in church can suffer with their husband, can suffer with their wife. Wait! I say on the Lord! 
God. The same God of America. Oh, Jesus, where is the warriors in here, man? Where is the warriors in here, man? You better slap two people and tell them it's the same. The same God abroad is the same God of yard. Where is the warriors, man? All right. You go on. Bet with Bishop. Go on, left your man. And see what go happen when you go up there. The one where you run left down here. The one where you go up, they go get. He might live in boot heel. You go on. He might, he might live in knuckle. Don't look at me like that, man. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. He might push you if you go push drugs. I make you end up a prison. And when they're in a prison behind the bars, you remember how sweet church was. Where is the warriors in here, man? Where is the warriors in here? Where is the warrior? They don't like Bishop in the man. They hate him, you see? Glory! But me no mind when I'm flinting on my forehead. If I ever tell you something, some people don't want me to preach. When Bishop preach, some of them will go and like them, I got a bathroom. Them no one here, Bishop. You never know. Then walk out, but then use them brain, make it look like a bathroom. Them I go, but I hear they no one here with Bishop. I say, you go on, you go on, you go on, man. You go on. Where is the warriors? It's kind of tight, too stiff. Now, yes, when God give you a man, sisters, and I hear me. You and the man walk come an altar and you say death does up those parts and when life get rough and you walk and left a man because life rough and you don't know what next week bring Hallelujah. touch somebody say vice versa because your man would be too so I mean, just say sister your men would be too come on no warriors man where is the worshippers man I have some, you have some brother in a church with their wife, you know. And when they look, they see one look flashy. You know them? And Jesse come at church. And then just love flash. I threw me attack. You might so nervous, but I threw. You have some, some young sister come at church. They're flashy, you know. Then just flash past you. And if you don't have sense, you lick your foot. There is a worship as in here, man. There is a warrior as in here. And you, you as a husband, you see Miss Flashy a pass. And you start, eyes Miss Flashy. And hear what you do now. You start talk to Miss Flashy. And I tell Miss Flashy your problem with in your house. And hear you to Miss Flashy, now Miss Flashy may go divorce. Excuse me, my friend, to go commit adultery. You know? Where is the worshippers in here? Things that hear them, the things that go on right. And I never got put me together. And I tell life on the bishop now. I tell life on the bishop. Hear them now? A bishop put me together. Slap your neighbor and tap the life on the man. Bishop, no put nobody in this house together. So tap the life on the man. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Where is the worshipper? You think me an idiot? You think me an idiot? If Eve blame Jesus. All right, let me go on it. Adam blame Jesus. When Adam sinned, and God said to Adam, Adam, what has thou done? Yeah, Adam, no. Is a woman that you give me. If you never give me him. Or if you never give me her. He said, no, 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 blame me. Blame Bishop. Me. Are you love a man? Then two on the phone, much like a night. Then two on the round. 
Me never did it. So you tell that for me. Some man will run just if we come at altar. Lord Jesus, Bishop, 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 Bishop. Bishop! I said, some of you run just if we come up here, sir. Because you want to make sure sir, you get your ring. So you run fast and give yourself to a man and then threaten him. Ah, Jesus, Bishop, what are you going with? You know what, Bishop, preach the truth, don't you? You hear me preach the truth. And you fight and come and get a man. And now, after you get a man, hmm. 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 And now, you listen to advice of a wise person. When something like that happen and probably be in a house stop a blame game and start go back to God again and say God fix it for me God God problem in my house help there is a worshippers man there is a warrior and tap the life on the man of God I make people there in a taxi people there at workplace people there at gas station and supermarket I don't go to the church eh? because of him of a pick out. And the pastor of come and said, You, God said, You and you come to where you come together. And tap the light on the bishop. The bishop has more sense than that. The bishop knows, eh? God give the bishop wisdom. Don't get me wrong. Let me tell you, wisdom like what? I have the gift. Of knowledge, wisdom, understanding. So, one female is over here. One male is over there. I know the personality of this person. And I know the personality of that person. So, two of you like each other. And you come to your bishop. Your bishop have wisdom. He know the two personality. And know say if this a person here and this a person go together, Lord of fire in my house. <laughs> you are coming, me, sir. So if you have one man with high temper till his stammer, and one woman over this way, fear temper, double trouble. My God. Come on up. Your bishop have wisdom from God. When you know, say, boy, and I say, it can't work. But God have to turn up in a dark he work. Because when one says something, and the next one not like it, and he say back, all of a sudden, hand their throat. Come on, no man, I chew me a talk. I say, go. But if this person is a person who can control himself, control temper, and one high temper over here, so you know, say so one reserve and one enough. You know, say so it's a good combination that. Because whether one doesn't have the one they're going to give, and whether one doesn't have the one they're going to give. So, Bishop, have the wisdom of God, we can know that. So, the Bishop can. Sometimes person come to him and the bishop say, all right, I'm going to pray. I'm going to go to God and I realize, say, yes, I want a good couple that. No, so you go, man. So the bishop will say, go ahead. Yes. Sometimes you come to the bishop, the bishop say, let me go pray, wait. And who go tell them for wait? Why? At that time, trouble start. So I'm sitting with the bishop here. Can I tell the truth? So I'm sitting way here. So I'm sitting where they ain't chat. So I'm sitting where they ain't go do. Bishop, I'll be calling them back in the office. And say, listen to me now. God no like where I go on. So, more advice enough for you. Separate. But if you can't separate, you better not marry then. 
Because if you're not going to separate the two, you're going to hell. And the only way you're going to have man is you're not just married and done. Yes. But when you're not married, it's going to go hard. When you're not married, you're not going to have a problem. But remember, I said, God did that first, telling you, and you're writing that. So when the problem comes, go back to God again. And say, God, we can't see say, something go on another house here. God, we can't see say, boy, it look like you're not put we together. And we flesh bring we together, God. So may I beg you, please, give me the victory, God. Please step in at this and fix it for we, God. God can fix what is wrong and make it right. With God, where is the worship as in here, man? It's kind a little bit flat. Throw your head back, man. Say something, man. You know what? You come, you come to church? Huh? So listen to me now. The boat are you together already and you're married. Just make it work. Come on, man. Where is the marriage couple? Tell the marriage couple, make it work, man. Talk to them, say, make it work. Are you have to make it work? Nobody can work it for you. Come on, touch your neighbor, man. Say, make it work. Make it work. Nobody can work it for you. Are you have to work it? All things work it together for good. So you can work it till the good come out of it. All right. You look like a marriage night tonight. Like a marriage night tonight. Here what now? Here what you're going to do it now? If you want to work, you have to start look upon things. Number one, if you can't read and write, good. Start read some book about marriage. If you want to work, sit down and think, I wish one of you really high temper. And when, if you realize that the man have a higher temper than fear, that means that you need to take it back page. Every time war starting war start in a house, you be the quiet one. Making chat all, all when it a burn you. And you feel like tell him what you always tell him. Just take out your right foot, sir. Use the left foot and squeeze it to one count to ten. Try. Come on, man. Try now. Try now. Before you answer, just say, squeeze it and say, one, two, three, four. And when you reach ten, just stop and see how you feel. And the next time you lick it with one heart, what again it does? And say, if marriage not work, say, if less conflict and Husbands, try that one here. You want a peaceful life? Try that one here. Wife, you ready to hear? Husbands, when you get the money, carry whole light come in our house and put it by the bed. I got the wife they want here in a man. Was one then kind of start get a little bit vexed. <laughs> Try that one day. Don't it, wifey? Let me hear the wives. <laughs> Where was one in the man? If boy now us, if we acquire now us, try this for one month. If a month I get paid, try before. When you get the pier, just wrap up it in a pier stub and just walk in, buy one little rose or one chocolate. And you see when you're going, before, before your head go in, put in the chocolate and the pier stub. <laughs> Try that one then. Just try that one. You know what God may ever try. You want here? If you ever do that when you try, you see next pay there. You see one laundry you never see before. 
Where is the warriors in here, man? Come on, no man. Try that one, the preacher. Just make sure, say. Make sure, say. Yo. Don't all the kinds. You hear me? All the coins wrap up with the pay stub. And make sure you get one nice big chocolate. Hey, Bridger. And just push it through the door, sir. Knock on them. And see if you are weak, if things are different. Husband, can I tell you one other thing my woman loves the most? You know what? Wives just didn't answer that long time. You know, you know what? Wife, one, one of the things, a two things, a wife, priority. You know? God. If you want, I will love you. Make sure she has somebody where as you get him on your car, come give him. And see something. Then vex with the bishop and all. Hey, brothers, then say, what kind of thing bishop I teach, man? Bishop I cause problem in that church, you know? What that, man? The reason why I say it's a man too mean, man. Now some of them hide money, you see? That's all, husband. I hope you're not. Yeah, so husband, then hide up the money. Yeah, so husband in the Ella. Yes, hey, they have some secret account. <laughs> yeah, so husband. Me. <laughs> Every week, they have a different excuse. Wifey, you know what say? Why? This did happen, man. And you want them to drive light. <laughs> Christian, me I talk to. Wifey, you know me I come from. Me I come from garage. <laughs> me go change this. Me go. Ch- Somebody have vexed again in a man. Brother them, brother them are under pressure tonight. <laughs> eh? And you have the money, hide up. So I hide up the money in a socks. <laughs> wife. Wife, I'm going to check your boot them now. <laughs> and you know, so then you can't put the money in a pocket in a man. Because wife, when you, I just, I just, ah, wife in a pocket. And so then you know, say, when Bishop was said this now, wife, you know, say, I'm going to check your boot. I'm going to check your socks them. God, they mean. Some of them mean. No, we have good wife, husbands in King Jesus. Don't get me wrong. We have good husbands in King Jesus. But you are some mean man in there too. That's truth. So. You know what I mean? Okay, good. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? How many of you nobody say yes? Yeah, Jesus. Choir! Let me see the husbands and the choir. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You mean? You know what I mean? You mean? You mean? I'll be a kind husband. What a good God. Thank you, Jesus. I hope so. Hey, hey hold on. This is a trench. If any one of them mean, you know, guess who know? The wife has said, what a hypocrite, man. Man, mean. Man, mean. Well, no worry, wife, you have a tonight, a different thing. After tonight, peace to back come in and everything. And King Jesus gone to our next level. Come on, somebody, wave your hands and give God a praise in here. Come on, man. Give God a praise, man. Give God a praise. We want some, we want some real good husbands in King Jesus. 
Come on, wives, wave your hands. Because some of the problems you are going to the house are because of your covetousness. That's true, you know? Yes, <laughs> hey, guess what happened in the You want to hear what happened in the Some people, I wonder if somebody tell Bishop something. Yes. I wonder if they wife. <laughs> but don't tell Bishop nothing at all. And just walk me and walk down your street. You're too mean. That I cause a problem in my house. Free up yourself, man. Take out the money. And make a woman go in a supermarket. Go away. Hold on. Hold on. We're having church. Five more minutes and we go home. Make your wife go to a supermarket. You're too mean. Let me repeat that. Let me repeat. I, I think I should repeat that in proper English. <laughs> Yeah, some person no want no feed them wife no go to supermarket you know. <laughs> and they might go there and sell <laughs> wife go on <laughs> carry money go get lady make a lady go on a supermarket make a lady go push Charlie stay in that car too I probably should want you push it, Charlie no next five weeks you push it, Charlie make sure you go on for the first five weeks Somebody vex ya. I'm troubling I come tonight. I want to preach. I really want to go preach that to me here, but somebody say. Somebody just say, I really profit that to me here, but. I'm not preaching this man. I go on it, man. Make a lady go on a, a, a supermarket, man. Too mean, man. Too mean. Take out the money and give lady. Make a lady go on a supermarket. Go enjoy life. The lady can go shop. And ask the lady what she do with so much money. Let the lady do what she do. Come on, no man. Somebody start plead the blood and free up the free up the place. Free it up. Can I hear them now? You want to hear what I'm at? Um, some of them bright. Um, Bishop, no marriage, so you can preach about my Shut your mouth. You don't even know. You don't even know the title that God put on the man of God. Sit down and behave yourself. No. Free up yourself. Give the lady the money, make she spend it. Nothing wrong. Make she spend some money. From the time you and the lady married, I know the lady, you know, give the lady a little freedom. Every dollar she spend, you want to know how she spend it. Come on, man, free up your horse, man. Your horse needs to free up, man. Free up. A round table talk again. But Bishop, no care. If you want the best wife, give her our money to spend. And if you ever give her her money to spend, you see how she treat you nice. Somebody wave your hand, no man, and say something, no man. We are going home now. Come on, no man. You hear a preacher say, What make your house nice? Money take out the argument and the quarrel out of the house. Because once a woman is convinced, say, yeah, do your best. Everything turn. Somebody wave your hands, the man, and say something, the man. It's kind of a little bit tight. Too tight, man. What, 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 what happened? You know, you see, so man, let me tell you how outsiders operate. There's a man, and so they operate. The man, them outside, so when they see your wife, they might look on your wife. And the one thing they want is to take your wife from you. You know what? Tell me how. And when you look 100,000 coming in your house, you wonder where you come from. But because of how you steer, you know what I know. Because you mean. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Come on, man. And at the time, man, a man want unsave a work. At the place where your wife were, you're not there. Listen to your bishop. You're not there. 
When an unsafe man see her and, and look upon his slippers when he have on. And I said to himself, said, hold on there. This is a nice lady I wear. This is a slippers there. And she said, she married. He just start walk. And said, he said, come to your wife and said, I know he's a Christian. So I'm not trying to look you. I'm not, no, no strings attached. But me just feel like God tell me to bless you. 100,000 and gone. Come on, no warriors, man. Come on! <laughs> and he wait till four weeks later. He just come back again with 100 pack. And say, don't get me wrong, you know. I mean, I really mean nothing. You're nice and you look good. And, and I just want to know everything. Everything all right? Yes. And then the next thing I find, give me a second time. You know what I said to her Anytime you want anything, you can ask me here. Yes, anything at all, just ask me. No, no string attached. In a few months, you don't know, have no wife. Because you're mean. You know how she knows you're mean. You know how she knows you're mean. Here, you know. Wife, you know, say nothing I'm going for me. I don't really get nothing I work this week. I made it borrow money. I, 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 I may have to pay back. I lie, you tell your wife. You know? And then when your wife look, your wife see you at church. Oh, that's Sister Mass, yeah. And your wife eyes you and you don't know. And when you look at one five thousand dollar bill, you take out and because you're the only next sister, you have flashed two thousand and five thousand dollars. And you're not even know your wife watch and say, Oh wicked. Oh liar man, look the man. I won't get them the money. You know him saying no money. And your wife having her belly, I walk with you and you don't know. And you don't know the temptation where she has got you at work. You don't know someone answer you want to buy lunch going to give her. And she has fight and I say no. And you with your mean Christian self. Come on warrior, this guy in a flat. We're going home man. And then you wonder. After one year. You and your wife in the bedroom and she just your wife just I wonder what happened. But your wife heart gone. Sometimes I want to look a brother at church, have your wife heart. Sometimes I want to unsee by the workplace, have your wife heart. Your wife well want to pack up and left. Alright, you don't want the bishop preach like this. Let us go back to the Lord. He's my shepherd. That's a doctor alone you want. You don't want me preaching season. I'm a preacher as I'm led. Come on, somebody. God want the husband will be take care of his own wife. Come on, wave your hands, the man. Shia Basa. Where are the husbands? Those who are here that is not yet married and you're male, lift your right hand and say, God, teach me to take care of my wife when I'm married. Teach me, God, how to treat a wife. So when I'm married, I don't have a third person in my life. Sometimes a third person, I don't want a man, you know. Sometimes a third person, I want a person in a church where is a mother in a church. Sometimes a third person in a church, I want a family member. Where know how you treat her, how you mean to your wife, and them start take care of your wife for you. Them start give your money your wife to go out supermarket. Them start give your, your wife money to buy dress, and then them become the voice. Them become the head in the, your house. Them ready to listen to the lady there or the family member that more than listen to you because you mean. Come on, warriors, man, touch your neighbor. Come on, man, touch your neighbor. You want to hear a wisdom key? You want to hear a wisdom key? You want it? How's the man? 
You're not supposed to have an account different from your wife's account. All right, great to the bishop. And what is a man I preach here? Your account should be your wife's account. Your wife's account should be your account. Nothing where you have enough fear of it too, or no. Where is your worship as in here, man? You're not supposed to build something, man, where you build a fear. You're not supposed to do something where you do a fear. You're not supposed to do a business and your business is a fear. Where is your worship as in here, man? When the two on us start intertwining, everything you do, every dollar where you own, and a free me, a free we. No, no split up can't go on. You know? No separation, no go on like say, me this and me that can't go on. Because I throw away in this. Where is the warrior? Somebody wave your hands. Man. Everybody stand, we're closing now. Everybody stand, we're closing now. Husband, remember the Remember the wisdom key. Remember four, the next fourth paycheck. Husbands, just say, Bishop Baker, can't say the Lord. Just say, Bishop Baker, the next four paycheck. Take it home, hand it over. Somebody had to beat fast. <laughs> you don't hear what I said? Try that one, then a man on top vex with me. You're too vexy, vexy man. A church, you're too angry, angry. What kind of spirit that? Let the spirit of God flow in the house. And some of the sisters, them vex. You should be glad. You should be said, Well done, Bishop. Well done, sir. That you should say, you say, Bishop, I love that preaching, Bishop. Because Bishop, I want my husband to start to take his money and bring to me. Let me spend it. <laughs> so when I say, actually, Bishop, not married yet, you know. Where is the worship as in it? Me don't plan for that already, man. You hear me say? I so much somebody hear that. Yeah, you hear Mr. Preacher? Good, good. <laughs> that one is supposed to be sealed. But I said that we say. Nobody ever tell me that. God teach me that already. If you want a woman, be best woman. Now hide your things from her. Hand you over to her and make sure you go and deal with it. And you stay close to her. All you do, make sure you stay close. Make sure you stay close. Now go far, stay close. And want to stay close and see her go and run things. You know, say, home all right. Yes, Where is the worshippers, man? She, she cover the place for you. No man can run yard, you know? Let me talk to all the fish them too. And all the shark them and the wheel them. We go on like say, you know, some wheel, we go on like that. Then can cook and clean and wash. Huh? You know them wheel? Eh? No wheel can run house. Get that. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And that's why you see I'll rush and run things and no one in Monday. And then <laughs> I got to raise them up. How we think raise up rush and them Monday? I make them go on so dangerous. I gotta use them for whip your old fish boy them. You never know? You gotta use them for deal with them in case I be a lick them again. I'm sorry for them. No fish can run yard. Say so nobody with it. Don't touch your neighbor. Say let the lady run the house. What's wrong with you? Nobody talk about I'm the head of the house. Shut your mouth. Head of his house. So don't think real. When the Bible says head of the house, you know what I mean? Say, are the man running the house? What I mean? Say, man of the priest. Are yes. the man of the teacher. Yes. But the man can't run the house. Are no. the woman have a put where they go away? The woman said, all right. Make a woman say, oh, this to go over here. And you say, no. I see what happened. See what happened. Make she say, um, a red curtain. 
would look good over there and say, no, I see what I'm. Just see what I'm. So reach your neighbor, say, neighbor, make the ladies have their way, man. Husband, make the ladies have their way, man. Give them the money, make them go do what they want to do. And stop asking them what they do with the money. Yeah, that preacher. I hope this I go home you now. I hope I hope this going home. Brother Nico, you don't have to do nothing. You're not supposed to be doing nothing, brother Nico. I no, don't think Facebook ready for this piece. And WhatsApp and what do you think? What do you think? Huh? Your piece say. If Facebook and the YouTube and the Tiki, they need to hear. <laughs> you can already do. So, preacher, make sure as the money come in, give it to your wife. <laughs> give it to your wife, boss. Make your wife do spending. And, and when the wife spend the money, don't you ask her what she do with it. There are some man where they come and say, um, how much for this? How, how much? How much? Asking for receipt. Man, go sit down. Two cubbish, man. <laughs> hey, can I ask you one question? You believe that Nobody on Facebook. You think no wife I wake up their husband. And it's a husband. You need to hear this. Come here. Listen to this. You need to hear this. You're too mean. Give me money for the supermarket. And stop. Give me ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars can't buy nothing. La Jesus is kind of flat again. Kind of getting a little bit too tight now. Get the lady the money, man. And stop that boat. I get $10,000 for that supermarket. $10,000 can't buy nothing. I feel like a daughter. I feel like a son. Then we tell you. Say $10,000 can't buy nothing. Because then what? Your daughter, we are 12 and 13 and 14 and son. So on some way, they want a supermarket. When they go pick up, then look at something. So free up. So much free up. And stop telling your wife lie. But you use the money to do this. And you did have to do that. And you did take out loan. And how you did have to pay back this. And you have to pay back that. Stop it. The Lord is vexed with you. Give the lady the money. Make sure she spend the money. Try it and save peace in the house. And then you come back to Bishop and tell me. Clap your hands and give God a praise. You know where so my man must say? Eh? You know where so my man must say? Bishop can't go and talk. But that the woman there, if me ever give me money, the money done, I don't even know where he go. What happened now is I give you money, money. I mean, I mean, man. Give you money, money. Give you money, money. Yeah, man. Give you money, money, man. And tap the lie. But how? If. She can't manage if me give her it. She's gonna cause problems. She's gonna me now go get me now go get the lady the money. Give her the money, makes you spend, man. Let the lady enjoy some life. Found a married abuse the problem. Found a married woman can't say, boy, me, my husband really take care of me. Let woman go on, man. If a woman feel like you want, if you give a woman the money this week, and the woman say, Hussy, listen to me now. Friday and Saturday, yes. we're going to Sandals. Shut them out and go on. All right. I'm trouble in Zion now. Should I repeat that? Yes. Me say, if you give the lady money, we go to the supermarket. And when, when, when you come in, you see nothing in, nothing in the fridge. And you say, honey, what And honey say, um, you know, say a book. Two nights in sandals. 
Zip your mouth and go along. Go on, go on a, a, a sandals are one of them down there. Go on, man. Go in choice on life. Go lay down in a pool. Go on in a jacuzzi and relax yourself. Get rid of some of my tension, man. And depression, man. You're too tight. Free up yourself, make a lady have Jesus. Having church tonight, Daddy. Having church tonight, Daddy. Having you hear that boss. <laughs> Make the lady go on. Go on. You and the lady, when you two want to go on a sandals, go sit down and relax. Go on a jacuzzi and relax. No, no chicken back tonight. There's a warriors in here, man. The lady now cook tonight. They not go around no, no stove. You and the lady go on. You go enjoy yourself and relax and and make the lady powder you down and you know. Oh yes, man. And one life God gave for living a man, live it with joy, man, and tap focus, man. And every week I got to bank this amount of money. Shut your mouth and give him any money. Tell you what I say. Give the lady money, make sure you hear me, boss. How you do it? All right, if you're not doing it, make sure you do it. I need to do it no more. Because your, my, your wife might have watched you now. Where is the warriors in here, man? Hey, up! Don't shake my hand, boss. You do it? All right, so make sure if you're not doing it, start doing it. Preacher! You do it? And you don't stop? You make sure you're boss. Because you're there beside the bishop. Once you're there beside the bishop, you're be kind to the husband, to the wife. Make the wife feel good. Deacon! You hear me? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Shake my hand. You doing it? No, I'm not asking if you're good. Mr. Start your money. Mm. Mm. No, but if you don't have a give what you have. If you don't have much give, look what you have. God, look, Liz. Wifey. Wives, little is much. Come on, help me, no man. Help me, no man. You know, our husband, wait till he have no figure. You want a husband, get a look where you have. Come on, no warriors, man. Some people vex in them, but that's how you go. Me, no mind, me, no mind, me, no mind. We're closing now, we're closing now, we're closing now, we're closing now. Closing now, we're closing now. And don't you tell me that wife, I work for your money. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Because some, that has some excuse. Oh, wife is working her money. So she can't do what she wants to do with her money. And me do what I want. Shut your mouth. Your daughter married a lady for? Huh? You married a lady for she work for your own money? Huh? You, you married, you take the man, daughter, and the woman, daughter, to take care of her. So stop that boy where she have and gear where you have. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of flat, too tight again. Somebody vex with the preacher. Because the preacher not prophesy no more. The preacher teach. No hacking. Hacking finish now. Give the woman the money. Can I be honest in here? Can I be honest in here? Some of your husband need to go bank. I never say ATM. Go along a bank Monday morning. <laughs> he that have a near to hear. I said some of your husband need to go to the bank Monday morning. Get into that. Into that account. Take out some of the money. Carry on to your wife. Wake up early Monday morning. Go to the bank as you open 9 o'clock. Draw one two hundred thousand. Nothing under that. Wives. Wives. Are you with me? I wonder if them are gonna listen a preacher tonight. Don't take out nothing under that two hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh, I wait, I wait. 
down, you're gone. You, come here. You, come here. Are you where they are from, Jason? I can come. You. No, man, you, man, where you are upset. Are you here? Come here. Come here. Come now, man. Turn around. Turn around. Come here, there. You too, come. I charge you tonight. <laughs> Go to bank Monday morning. Take out 300,000. When you hear me say, when you can't say, I never want any in the bus. You too come. You too. Stand up right here. Right here. You. And who Bishop back off now? Yes, sir. Walking down the aisle. Come here, my friend, man. Come here, my wife, your head, man. No weapon from against you shall prosper. I see where them are doing what. God, I cover you tonight. Where is the warriors in here? Ready, I know. Church, you ready for the prophecy? Ready for the prophecy? Let's go up. Household of faith. Stop right here now. Come here, Nathaniel. Oh, bro, bro, man. Come on, come on, man. Go on up there. <laughs> I need somebody to hold the camera. Because the person that holds the camera need to be up here. Where the camera? Please stand up here. Congregation, please point your, your hands towards these husbands, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know you are good husbands. You are what? Good husbands. But I want every one of you in obedience to your pastor. Draw 300,000. Draw 300,000. Draw 300,000. Draw. Draw. Draw 300,000. Draw. 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 Draw 300,000. Monday morning, 9 o'clock. Listen now. Make sure when I draw the money, not touch dollar. <laughs> Carry it to your wife. And say, God said, bless you with this. Anything you want to do, me no business. <laughs> Hold on. I call heaven as a witness. You going to do it? You going to do it? You going to do it? Yes, sir. Wonderful. Yes, sir. 
pas mis à mon nom. Hein? And nobody, nobody have two ninety five. Andrew, two hundred. If a two ninety five you have, draw two ninety and fifty five. Watch God. Come here. Oh, you had to say, come here. Oh, let me say, man, come here, man. Jawi, have I? I would have liked to call two more persons, but then disobedient, you know. Let me call them, they're not come. They won't come, but they're not going to do it. Your bishop know everybody in that congregation, you never know. Huh? Where is it? No. I believe if you obey this command, God shall do something. Mighty. What month is this month again? Huh? When? Is the which month? Is the what? And nine is the is the number for what? So give your wife and watch your God give your back. Double, triple, ten times. Where are the warriors in here? A true man, me never call you. Dick and Elliot, where are you? Come now, man. Come, preacher. Brother Rick. Wives, 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 listen the advice of a pastor. Just when I get the money, when I hear me, nobody put it back in a no bank. <laughs> and what kind of preaching this? Hold well, on. Yeah, what you do with it this time? Just enjoy local life. You don't know what tomorrow bring. Enjoy local life, man. If I feel, I feel like go. It won't have just go on. No, say go. Just if the children are involved, just say, all right. Call your auntie or your cousin or your sister and say, keep them for me till tomorrow. No, say go. And why it's gonna just go on. Eh? Facebook, why? You wake up your husband. Your husband here. Tell the husband, say, Bishop, they can have a draw 300,000 and gear. And watch God work in their life and in their ministry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I see the hands of the obedient husbands, those who are going to do what I say? Can I see the hands of those who are going to do what I say? (laughs) 
Hold on. Only see what Mr. Don't. Only see what Mr. Don't it. The only hands that men go up by one, them women never call. Not Jesus. I will be sure that's the way I go. Huh? Hmm? Yeah, some men put up no hand. Because they might look one where they have. And I said, boy, men not have. Yeah. And some have a changer. And I said, me go do it, get changed, men not have nothing. Hear them now, no? Want me sickness to come. Want me something for them. You are an idiot. Want me if eating a bank and it come for you. Where you have to enjoy it? You, have a enjoy it? No, you, you have can't use it and do nothing. nothing. You have a joy. So, my dad's well, you have sense. Yeah. God put the two on it together on an enjoy your life, man. Yeah. He will come back. Yeah. Where is the worship? I say something, no man. Say something, no man. It will come back. Clap your hands and give God a praise in here. And a few of you don't have all of that. A few of you don't have all of that. Draw your have and do what you have to do. Carry it and give it to the lady. When you give it to the lady, don't ask her nothing about it. Leave it with her. She will do as she's led. Yes, if she led for go buy ice cream, she buy ice cream. Yes, if she led for banky, she banky. If she led for car, no, you want to go out, no, left the lady alone. Yes, God bless you. Yes, My God. Stiff. Stiff preacher. Why this coming like when I'm on the road, I preach. This is like coming up on the road. I preach, Master. When me there, when me there, downtown Kingston, and nobody don't know me, and I be a demon's dung there. And me have a, you know, you when you have a walker, and you have a chop down sons. I saw that one you feel. Somebody hit Bishop Furious in life. <laughs> somebody, be, I'll next year, then tell me somebody vex with the Bishop. I work on a sitting this morning and tell me to take out my money and can't go give me what? Are your wife, you know? Under your enemy, are your wife? Yeah, make you look. <laughs> Under your church, are your wife? Nothing wrong if you give your wife. I give your wife, you forgive. If nothing happens to you, your wife, I've got spend it. If you're dead, the wife, I've got to use it for burial. So, my as well, they use it and enjoy with your wife. Where is the worship us in here? Because if you're dead and somebody gets the privilege to dry, it's a, when you see and do, you might dead again if I see. Where's the worship us in here, man? Me say, that money that where God tell you to get to your wife, if something happens to you and you die, Probably the person will get you and spend it. If God will wake you up and show you how the money they spend, you have a heart attack and drop again. So might as well you make your wife do anyone and do with it. Because of your wife. And you make God a promise about her. And can I say something? So my person that may come up here say so I plan for divorce then wife. Never want to get in the spirit, you know. Yeah. We feel like many just want to talk to the husbands, them. Yeah. But some man who come up here, sir. One of the reasons why you're so vexed is because you plan for divorce your wife. You see, same wife, you plan for divorce. When it's choke, lick you. And the same lady, they're going to take care of you. So you better behave yourself. Shia Basa. Right down the one, the preacher. Today, much again. Eh? The, ninth the, ninth. the ninth of the ninth. Remember, Bishop did say. So my person will come up here and say, Vex, I go back down. You see the same wife for them a plan for divorce. And the same wife there. 
I got to take care of them. So give the lady the money and behave herself. And just do what God said for do. Where is the worshiper? Say something now, man. Say something now. Preacher, you know, say me never call you. Eh? Why? Come shake me hand up. You hear that? Wife testify. Say, sir, ain't give me the money since night. Good boy. You are receive worshipers. We need some more husbands like that. You know, hear me? Somebody clap your hands. Come shake me hand, preacher. Run, go shake me hand. Come shake me hand. At first, may I preach like this for the last seven years. Every time I preach, I just prophesy, lay your hands, cast out devil, and give back mic. But tonight, different. The night where you're coming here, different. Do what Bishop say, yeah? Wonderful. Somebody clap your hands and praise God in here. Take your husband, preacher. No, nobody tell you nothing. Put your husband before father. Put your husband before mother. Put your husband before picnic. Put your husband before friend. Put your, hus your, your wife before everything. Come on, I'm going to hug up your wife. I got girl. Can't kiss her too. I feel her. There is a warrior. Say something, man. It's kind of flat. Take care of your woman. I got to hear your wife. Where is the worshiper? Somebody jump up. Give God a praise in here. Come on, man. Give God a praise in here, man. Shout a glory. Hallelujah in here. Somebody said, Bishop, I talk the truth. Bishop, I truth. You want, we want a husband with take care of it, sir. Clap your hands and give God a praise. The last thing. Surprise your wife with gifts. Wife love gifts, you know? Where are the wives? Wives, come on, man. Wives love gifts, don't? Huh? Yes, sir. Surprise your wife with gifts, man. When problem in the house, go buy a gift and come. Yes, sir. You ever know? Smile, sir. If you want peace in the house, you know red rose? Yes, huh? If you ever get one red rose, you left and she a quarrel, you know. Get one red rose and then buy something where you know she like, like some ice cream. Get cheesecake. You know what she like, man. Yes. Where you know she like. And just buy. You see, before you go in, put in it first. That means if you plan to put in your place in a bother. And when you open the door, oh yeah, ring up of here, so man. <laughs> yeah, boy, I ring up in place hard tonight. No. Yeah, you hear me? Yes, sir. When you are going, just make sure say, before you reach in, yes, sir. red rose. And then it was cheesecake. Red velvet. Come on, no man. How are your wife like? Eh? And guess what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Preacher. In Kingston, there is a store. It is called Bridget. Come on, no man. You just. What you say? I'm planning to bring my wife there for convocation in Kingston. Why? Just, husband, can't talk to Bishop. Talk to Bishop. Bishop, we. You just go there and just buy one budget for your wife. Yes. Just when you buy. 
Make sure the receipt stay in the back. Come on, no man. What me say do? Don't take out the receipt. Let the receipt stay. So that when she open the bag and see the gift, she realize, hold on there. so much who want slippers because the expense of the gift shows the value of both the receiver and the giver there were the worshippers man it's kind of flat man come on man wave your hands it's kind of a little bit tight we're going home now everybody stand so husbands Start give some gifts. When was the last time you buy your wife a gift? Huh? If I ever go through this place and ask a question there tonight. If I ever go through this place and ask a question tonight. Ask when was the last time? Some people vex with me body in a man. Some people angry. <laughs> Cross. Because of the way Bishop preached tonight. Buy your wife a gift, man. You go up on the street, buy something, care about your wife. Somebody wave your hand and say, Bishop, I preached the truth. Everybody stand. We're going to close in prayer. Hallelujah. If you're here and you're ready to give your life to the Lord, you can walk to this altar right now. If you're here and you're not yet saved, Walk to this altar. If you're here and you're sick in your body, walk to this altar. And I feel like uh, I feel like giving a special altar call tonight too. So if you're here and you're not saved, walk to this altar. If you're here he said, Come. and you or sick in the body need deliverance walk to this altar hallelujah if you are here and you're ready to be baptized please come forward if you are ready to be baptized in Jesus name come hallelujah now this altar call is for those who are not married I want to speak to the unmarried brothers first you want to be married and you're asking God to make you a good husband I want you to walk to this altar I want to pray for you you want to be a husband that will be an example Hallelujah. 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 When you have the desire to be a husband, it's a good desire. Because it is God's will for you to have your own wife. Hallelujah. And this church believe in marriage. We believe in family. We want you to be a good husband. A good father. One who learn to grow up your children in the fear of God. Hallelujah. Sisters who desire to be a good wife. Yes, a good wife. 
And you need prayer, please walk to this altar, please. That's the unmarried, please. Unmarried sisters who desire to be married and you want the Lord to make you nothing is wrong with having that desire I know some person because of their behavior they will let you feel like it's a wrong thing to desire to be a wife marriage is honorable in all and the bed is on the fire it's a reason why God lead me in this direction tonight and I believe even though it looked like it was just Bishop Baker talking the spirit of God is in me And sometimes when you might think you are just speaking out of your good heart, it is a spirit of God leading and directing in eras that we don't even realize that need to be touched. Hallelujah to God. And tonight I speak over your life that when you are married, God will use you to be an example. When you are married, you will learn how to treat your wife or treat your husband. Good in the fear of God with respect. Hallelujah. Because there's a problem in the church. Wives does not respect their husbands and husbands does not you treat them as if they are not God gift to you and God said I don't like it huh and I what I did tonight might look simple but God was speaking to you Shaya Basa and God is saying, it seems, to me, it seems like you whore your wife. And God was just saying, pay back time. Might not be money. But God is saying, because you value money, God said, give that. Shaya, Basa. Might not be everybody, but God just use everybody because God don't want to insult Shaya Basa, where is the worshippers? Hallelujah. Tonight I speak over your life. There is a heavenly calling in this ministry where God is calling the married people to stand up and be the example. God is calling you to holiness in the bedroom. Holiness in the house. Holiness among the children, among the family. Shaya Basa. I believe God is saying tonight, it's time to arise and shine. The marriage in the church should be that flowers blooming. But instead of that, conflict, arguments, Fight, grudge, hate, bitterness, shy, adultery, loss. And God said, How you expect me to bless you when you're not doing what I want and call you to do? Shy, and some of you who are unmarried. You are looking on their examples and you are going to do the same thing and worse. And God said, not so. God said, when you get married, 
you are going to show them how to treat their wives, how to treat their husbands, how to give to their wives, how to submit to their own husband, and how to love your wife. Shia Basa, glory to God. And the least little thing you don't get up and pack up and want to leave. Quarrel and you want to pack up and you want to leave. God said, no. I hate divorce. I don't believe in divorce, says the Lord. God says, as long as it can work, let it work. You don't have one to go quarrel and pack up and say you want one next wife. Not in this church. Not in the church of the living God. When it can work, you fix it. Shia. And if you step out and divorce and go married to another, God say adultery. Shia Basa. Only. 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 The ones that can't fix God allow. The one, the ones that person walk out and go and live with somebody and now come back. That's the ones that God allow. So, get it out of your heart and out of your mind. May I talk to somebody? Nobody feel somebody feel some word that fly in here, you know? Gotta, gotta speak to somebody and you know? say your plan for divorce. A adultery I commit. Shia Basa, the spirit of God said, tell you, I lost you, I lost. So that conversation we have on the phone is a lustful conversation. You are not divorced. So you're not supposed to have in that conversation. Shia. Shanda Basa. You're not supposed to hold a conversation about you got divorced and I'm married. Uh, I'm going to divorce her and I'm going to marry you. Shut your mouth! It's a demonic conversation. Shia Basa. Glory to God. Feel the Holy Spirit in my belly. Shia, God hates divorce. Go repent. Go make it right. Go back. Make it right. Thus said God. Shia Basa. Make it right. Adultery. Hell yeah, go. Adultery. Hell yeah, go. Adultery. Hell yeah, go. Hell yeah, go. Fire said God. Repent. Go back to your wife. Shia Basa. Think Holy Ghost now see you. Think you can't fool nobody. Can't fool God. Can't fool the church. Can't fool the spirit of God. You think a private conversation. But heaven was hearing. Heaven was right there. Shia Basa. You know, just walk out, leave your wife like that. You know, just turn your back on your wife like that. God said, Not so. Get, do you part. You know, just get up because something is going on you know, like, and decide to, you don't know, want her again and you're going to marry somebody else. Which church? Which one of the church? I can't the church that believe in God. I can't the church that Jesus said upon this rock. Mm -hmm. Trouble in a Zion, no. Trouble in a Zion, no. Because this one gone worldwide. Speak over your life. Your marriage will last until death. Somebody lift your hand and say, my marriage will never end in divorce. 
my marriage will never end in divorce till death do we part in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shia Basa. We are the believers in here. Come on. Come on, unmarried. Speak it over your life. When I get married, when I get married, I'm only going to be married once. Come on and believe God in here. Come on and believe God in here. Come on and say something in here. Shaya Basaya. Shanda Basa. They ask the Lord Jesus Christ, can a man divorce his wife for every cause? And Jesus answered and said, except it be for sexual and faithfulness, a man cannot divorce his wife. Except a man be born again. Except Come on, somebody. Open your mouth and declare it over your life. Declare it over your life. Declare it over your life. Shaya Basa. Declare it over your life. I will never divorce. I will never divorce. Come on, speak it over your life. I will never divorce. I will never, by the grace of God, I, re I, I curse that spirit right now. Open your mouth. I curse that spirit right now. I curse that spirit right now. Shayabasa, we are the believers in here. Say something. Come on, Christians. Come on, children of the Most High. Come on, sons of God. Come on, sons of God. Come on and declare it. I hope. I hope none of you are involved with a married man. I hope none of you are involved with a married woman. Married woman. Because it's a dangerous thing. It is a dangerous thing. There is three dangerous sins. The two most dangerous sin is murder and adultery. The two most dangerous sin is murder and adultery. You kill somebody, they remain in the state they are until the day of judgment you touch a man's wife he will never forgive you all the days of his life all when he tell us he forgive you the amount of things that is running through his mind you touch the woman husband And some of you sisters, you are cheap. And that's the truth. It's hard, but it's true. Some of you sisters, you are cheap. You know the man is married. And you know the man's wife is worshiping in the same assembly as you. And you're playing around with the woman's husband and believe you're going to escape. You believe you are guiltless. The judgment of God is on you and that's the truth. The judgment of God is on you and that's the truth. And 90% of these people never get married. 90% of these type of people never get married. And if they get married, they never remain married. Listen to what Bishop Baker said. 90% of the people that know that the person is married and get involved with the married person never get married. And if they are married, they never remain married. 
Somebody lift your hand and begin to pray in this house. Lift your hands and begin to pray in this house. We don't want it in this house. We don't want it in this house. I command the demon of lust to go. I command the demon of lust to leave. I command the demon of lust to, to be driven to a far country. Shia Basa. Shanda Basaya. Somebody begin to pray in this house. Open your mouth and talk to our daddy. Please talk to God. Come on and pray. Come on and pray. Come on and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Shaya Basa, pray. Shanda Basaya, pray. Some of you are battling some demons. Some of you are battling some generational demons. Your grandmother used to walk around and take away married men. Shaya Basaya. Your mother used to do the same thing and the spirit is on you now. You need to pray and drive it out of your life. Shaya. Shandabasa, Yamasaya, Shaya Baba Basa. Come on, somebody, close your eyes and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to the spirit of adultery and I drive it to a far country. Let every man stick to his own wife. Let every wife stick to her own husband. Shia Basaya. In the name of Jesus Christ, through your blood, Lord. Through your blood, your blood, your blood, your blood. Let your blood prevail. Let your blood give the victory. Let your blood, Jesus Christ. Somebody start putting the blood, 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 blood. Start putting the blood over somebody right now. Come on, warriors. You might see something that doesn't look right. You might see something that seems like these persons are committing adultery. Is a reason why God show you prayer. You might be at a spot and see something when it look right, when it look straight. It might not be that, but it look like that to you. The reason why God allowed you to see it, because God wanted to break it down in prayer. Come on, Christians, start plead the blood. Children of God, start push back every attack. Come on, start push back that. There's a demon attacking your family. There's a demon attacking your husband. When you get married, your husband was not like that. And all of a sudden, your husband starts to stray. He's an unclean spirit. Drive him out of your house. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Your wife was not like that. All of a sudden, your wife begin to lust. All of a sudden, your wife begin to watch pornography. All of a sudden, your husband stay up at nights on certain sites. And you've got to let us see because God wants you to tear it down. The blood of Jesus Christ. Plead the blood. It's a reason why God bring us in this direction tonight. It's a reason why God lead me to talk about marriage tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every adulterous spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every idol, every adulterer. Come on, and every adulteress. Come on, I plead the blood. I drive that spirit from off you. I drive it from around you. And I command you to be holy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God call you because he have a plan for your life. Don't allow that spirit to destroy the plan of God for your life. God wanted to raise up a family. God wanted to be the priest in that family. Don't let your children grow up seeing you committing adultery living a double standard life plead the blood shaya basa ya masaya ya papa basa shanda basaya 
Yamasa. The spirit crept in. That how the demon work him. Take time and creep in. And you that used to have certain standard. Start lower down your standard. Somebody start plead the blood. Raise up back the walls. Raise up back the walls. Raise them up back. Shia. Ah, yeah, Basa. Every time when you have a little conflict, you're talking about you're packing up and you're leaving. You're talking about you're gonna divorce. You're talking about take all your ring and throw away. You think God is here? God is vexed with you. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Shanda. That ring is an eternal. It's an eternal covenant. It's a covenant that goes until death. Shaya. Shanda. Yamasaya. Shaya Basa. Somebody hold on to somebody and begin to pray right now. Somebody go find somebody and begin to pray right now. I said, go find somebody and say, the spirit of adultery shall never have dominion over you. I said, go find somebody and say, the spirit of adultery will never have dominion over you. I guide you. I cover you from it. Blood, 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 blood. Blood, 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 blood. Will not come into your house. Holy Ghost fire. Somebody plead the blood, 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 blood. Somebody plead the blood. Cover the marriage couples. Come on, cover them now. Walk around and cover them. Walk around, alter worker. Walk around, cover them. Blood coverage. Any demon have eye on your wife. Blood coverage, fire. Any demon have eyes. And your husband will put the blood now. Come on, the man. Raise up the wall. Raise up the wall. Raise it up around your husband. Raise up the blood around your wife. When she's at work, a demon at work, have his eye on your wife. Blood coverage. When your husband is on the road, a demon. Of adultery, we raise up the fire. We raise up the walls of fire around you. Shanda, yeah, Messiah. Somebody get in a holy ghost, you know? Somebody better get in a holy ghost, you know? Somebody better get radical in this house, you know? We don't want it in here, you know? Drive it out by fire. Shanda, yeah, Messiah, Shia, make some covenant with your eyes like Job. Job said, "Make a covenant with my eye. I will never look on a woman to lust. I make one with my eye. I will never look on a married woman to lust." Up me a mountain man and plead the blood. Shanda, yeah, Messiah. Yeah, papa, papa, pa, sir. Drive it out. Holy Ghost fire, drive it out. Drive it out. Yeah, look on the man, baby, mother. Fire! Holy Ghost on fire. Holy Ghost on fire. Holy Ghost on fire. Drive it to a far country. Never to return. You ready for baptize? You ready to give your life to God? Very good. You ready to give your life to the Lord? Very good. You ready to give your life to the Lord, son? Very good. Straight to the water. Baptize him in Jesus' name. Somebody start plead the blood, man. Start plead the blood. It's a comprehensive blood coverage now. You ready for baptize in Jesus' name? Think about it, yeah? Think about how far we are come from.
think about it. You remember him, Ella Mullins? Far where I come from, you know, man. We used to there. Cancer. You remember? We used to there, cancer, dance, and a boogie down. A holy ghost time now, son. Think about it. A holy ghost time now. Give God your life now. May God cover you from every attack. Every demon will want to kill you. Cover yourself under the blood. Somebody open your mouth and say something, man. Clap your hands and magnify God. Magnify the Lord. Remember, the book launch is coming up. Now, the book is finished. And the print tree is printing the books for me now. So, the next thing is the book launch. Remember the chuck. Remember the chuck. Those of you who can plant a seed towards the chuck, please do. Let us get the chuck. Amen? Let us get the chuck. Come on, man. Let us get the chuck. We are on the chuck now. You understand, preacher? We are on the chuck now. So that we can go all over this island. I was in a meeting with Vibes Radio Station. Me and Michael Lepper was in a meeting tonight. Getting ready for the launching, the relaunching of Vibes Radio Station. Huh? And we, have, we need workers. We need workers in the station. We have, we have some workers. We have you to work. You, who again? We have some more persons that is going to work in the radio station. Missionary Trench wasn't in the group. She was in it. You was in it, Sam Trench? What went wrong with you? Mm. Oh, prayer. Yes, good. Pastor Clark. All right, so we're getting ready now. We have some persons in the pew that we're going to need for Vice Radio Station. Amen? And we just push it and go across the country. Deal with it and bind up the demons them and drive them out. And baptize one. How much does we baptize? A one whole million we get. One million Jamaican we tear down. Bop! Tear off the demons after them and set them free. One million Jamaican apostolic. Lord. Trouble in the island. Huh? Hey. You see, if we get one million apostolic in Jamaica. Yo. You see gun man and walk with them gun and ball and drop your altar. Eh? My God. A problem. You ready warriors? Worship as you ready? My God. Hey, you want you want revelation? Look on that shop there. You see it, preacher? A six set of shop they want to know. No, me I start out with six. Some of the six of them. And Bluetooth connect them are trouble. You ready, preacher? My God. Gone. Yeah. When we lick, we lick four of them. So we have four. We go up on one big ball field. And have a four of them surround. You ready? My God, I will drop on that ball field. 50,000. And, and when we finish, when I'm baptized, nothing under 3,000. Warriors, you ready? What we say when we do? When we are doing baptism, you want to hear how we are doing baptism? This is how we are going to do baptism. We have 100 minister. You ready? 100 minister line up. Go straight down. And each of them want one and see if go to one of them. I'm going to step on the mic. Lift your right hand. Thy powers are upon me, O oh Lord, until death. Uh, my God, you see vision preacher. And by time we say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bop. 100 baptized one time and move another 100 come 
in the space of 10 minutes, 1,000 is done. Come on, no warriors, man. When I ask no question, somebody just cover it in the name of Jesus. It's a blood coverage. Do it, Holy Ghost. Blood coverage. And you see this, this truck where we are, this truck where we are struggled to buy? Write down this now. What me say for you? You see, this truck where we are struggled to buy the first one. Yes, sir. when we get the first one, just watch how easy the second, third, fourth, five, six are come. You hear me? You hear me? So some of you who got to speak to be sow the seed and you fight God. You go and fight God. Because I bless God, one bless you. God, I'm going to make some person just come and say, how much of them you want, Bishop? And just write one check. And say, all right, you know, give me the number for the people that may have it. And they make one call. And when they look, it's a treat you come. <laughs> believers, you're coming with me? You're coming with me, believers? Wave your hand and say, do it, Lord, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Clap your hands and celebrate the Lord. It, when I first heard about the chuck, and I heard that it's almost $13 million for one of the chuck, I said, Jesus. <laughs> and the Lord says, believe, son. You hear what I say? The Lord said, believe, son. And I trust God. And now I am halfway. And I believe that God is going to take us all the way. If you believe God with me, give him a hand cup of praise tonight. Come on, give him a hand cup of praise tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Everybody stand. Everybody stand.